Hi everyone, the moment you've been waiting for. Let's do some trig solving. Who doesn't like a bit of trig trig solving? But I've that and a bit of algebra and um, a bit of integration or a bit of differentiation. Yeah. Maybe even a bit of logs. We all like them, so this is no different. Right, so this is the same idea as last time, but we haven't got cosecant, so we need to switch it. So let's have a look. So it does say there, doesn't it? Make it into sine cos tan. Right, so I know that co secant x is 5 over 2, so 1 over sine x is 5 over 2, so if I spin them upside down, cross multiply really, I get sine x is 2 fifths. You don't necessarily need to do with that middle bit. I turn it upside down, it's fine. Right then, so I need the principal value off my calculator. So x is the inverse sine of 2 fifths, um, which according to the calculator, or according to the completed part, is 23.6 degrees. So then you can just graph it on your calculator from 0 to 360. And you've got a value there, that's not helpful, of 23.6. And your calculator should also return the other value, which is 180 take it away. So 23.6 and then 180 take 23.6. So 160, 150, 156.4. There. Nothing new with that, is there? We've just got to do a bit more rearranging, that's all. So cot 2x. Uh, so what have we got then? So I've got 1 over tan. 2x is minus 3, so tan 2x is minus a third. 2x is the inverse tan of minus a third. So remember, you don't necessarily need to, to do the 1 over tan 2x if you know what it is. Uh, so 2x is, what's 2x? So 2x is minus 18.4. So I get that. Now I'm going to cheat on my calculator, so I'm just going to graph y equals tan 2x and y equals minus a third from 0 to 360. Shall we do it as a reminder? Uh, one degrees answer. So let's do what we're doing. What we're doing, we got oh yeah, tan 2x. So tan 2x minus a third. There. So I'll tell my values, not 360. Are we going up in 45s? There's my numbers are on. So these are my final numbers. So x is equal to, so the minus 18.4, I'm not fussed about, am I? So that's outside the range of values I want. So I've got an 80.8. I've got, and it should be these next ones, because tan normally goes up in 180s, but I've got tan 2x, so it's going up in 90s. So that should be a 170.8, which it is. The next one should be a 260, yeah, point eight. And that's it. Oh no, I've got one more. 350.8. Degrees. Yeah. So that's not too bad, is it? Especially if you're cheating in the calculator. Next. So what I've got here, so I've got a rearranging one. So secant, oh, I'm also in uh, radians. So I've got a rearrange with radians, awesome. So what I've got, so secant is one over cos x. And I've got four cos x. Take that up there, I've got one is four cos squared x. Oops. Take the 4 down, I've got a quarter is cos squared x. So I've got plus or minus a half is cos x. 
there. So I've got a cos x is minus a half. And I've got cos x is plus a half. From the calculator, I'm working in radians. Um, so I'm going to get cos x of minus a half is 2 pi over 3. And cos x of a half is pi over 3. So I can bang it in my calculator off. It wanted it in exact. So let's just say it wanted it as an exact value. I know from, from my cos graph, that's going through to pi. That's pi by 2. That's minus pi by 2. That's minus pi. I could use the symmetry, couldn't I? So plus a half was a 2 pi by 3. Oh, sorry, it's a pi by 3. So the opposite one must be minus pi by 3. And then for minus a half down here, so that's my 2 pi by 3. So that must be my minus 2 pi by 3, just from the symmetry of the graph. It is nice. It's nice to cheat on your calculator. It's also nice just to remember where the numbers come from using the symmetry. So that's quite nice, that one. <sighs> right, what have we got here? So it says the angle feature is such. What time are we on here? So that, oh, sorry. Is there a lot in this one? No. So angle feature is such 0 to 90. So find the exact value of cos. So I'm not going to solve it. I want to get something with cos in it. Right, so... Let's do a little bit of rearranging. So I've got 8 cos theta times by 1 over sine squared theta is 3. So my 8 cos theta, I take up the sine squared. There. So you remember from last year, anything like this, where you've got the wrong trig function squared, you just change it. Although some of you can't remember 1 minus the other one. It's just practice remembering it though, isn't it? If I stick that into poly, it gives me cos, it gives me a third and minus three. But we know that cos only goes between plus or minus one. So that's no solution because the modulus of that must be between plus or minus 1. So my answer is a third. But look, it's wanted an exact value, so we don't solve it. I've got something for cos from 2 equals, so I'm done. Right, I reckon that's it for that lesson. But loads and loads of questions to have a go at there. Especially this bottom one here, dead on. Right, see you later. Bye bye.